One of the hangups of having an awesome, modern, complex mobile application is all the stuff you got to do just to get it working so the user is happy. It seems counterintuitive then that when you do all that stuff before the app boots up, it can actually cause unhappy users. My name is Colt McCandless, and one of the common problems with slow launch performance is doing too much stuff inside of your application's initialization code. Remember that anytime your app launches, the system will display a startup window until everything is up, ready, and your app has been drawn. The longer the users are staring at this window, the less happy they generally get with your application. Now, a common seen all the time problem that can cause this is spending too much time in processing cycles in the initialization of custom applications application objects. Now, while it's really important to do some types of global work here, remember that the rest of the application launching process can't move forward until this initialization is finished. And, and don't get me wrong, sometimes this isn't intentional. I mean, it's not like you're going out of your way to put lots of work in this object. Application subclasses tend to become repositories for the full set of potential things an app may need to be initialized for all the possible activities in your app. The result is a lot of wasted work in the most common cases. Now, particularly difficult in these situations is when you get things like uh, blocking code, uh, garbage collection events, disk IO, or lots of network pings. You know, all the heavy work that's sitting right in the middle of the most critical step of your initialization. <laughs> now, before you run into the weeds here trying to address these issues, it's worth figuring out if you have a problem. Thankfully, Android has some tools to help. First is the method profiling tool, which lets you graphically see how long your application on create method is taking. Uh, if it's uh, going longer than four to 10 milliseconds, then it's worth exploring more to see what might be causing that delay. And to get that information, you can drill down by adding tracing functions to your code, which will then show up in the next SysTrace capture that you run for your application. And let's be clear, the solution to all of these problems is simple lazy loading. Uh, see, while you can initialize subclasses and systems for all activities your app will need, doing all this stuff up front is just complete overkill. Uh, so only a subset of these items are actually critical for the main activity, and thus those are the only ones that should be worked on. The, the rest should be deferred to some later time. Basically, this boils down to moving things out of the critical path of the application initialization and either doing that work on demand, like a subclass for a particular activity, or doing that work in the background and allowing the results to be returned asynchronously. <laughs> See, performance is all about user perception, and the critical path of launching your app is where users can perceive slowdown the most. So to figure out how to fix up the other parts of your application, make sure you watch the rest of our Android Performance Patterns videos on YouTube, and don't forget to join the Google Plus community to chat with other brilliant performance folks. So keep calm, profile your code, and always remember, perf matters.